Hey, what's up you guys? It's Taylor at Casones RV here in Mesa, Arizona. In front of me, we have a Keystone Passport. This is the GT series, and I'm gonna get the model number here for you on the, in a second by the door. This RV is about 25 feet in length, so it's a really good size um, for uh, what it is. It's got quite a bit inside, which we're gonna show you here in a second, some really good space inside, but I wanna back up here for a second, just kinda show you, um, I'm gonna walk around the RV, show you the whole outside of it. Um, we're here over on the, uh, I would say the passenger side, but um, of course it's a travel trailer. Keystone really does really great with their Passport series as far as uh, their sales go on them. They're very popular, and I would say that most of their products in general, uh, they usually do a great job on, but um, they're a really nice uh, quality, structured well RV, and this is uh, gonna be listed for a great price. This is gonna be listed for $30,000 here at this dealership and it's a 2021 so it has been used but it's very been used very briefly and it's in fantastic shape right here in the front we have just uh your storage compartment here on the outside that goes all the way through here pretty good size right behind that we've got your fresh water connections and your city water connections we do have one side out over here Again, you can call it, I guess, the driver's side. I want to back up here. I do like the uh, blue, white, and uh, black accents they've done on the outside here. And although they are decals, they look uh, fantastic. Kind of a nice uh, gray here as well in the front. Um, they kind of fade the black on the decal here as well. And even in the center, um, they have a piece that kind of makes it uh, disappear, as you can see there. And then it starts up again here in the middle uh, going down but really nice colors it's kind of uh, an off-white kind of like added a bit of gray to it you can see here it's actually is gray here on the actual side and also in the front but the sides are kind of white with a little bit of an off gray in them with black and blue um, accents here we have an, uh, an outside shower here on the back side and right here we have your 30 amp plug-in right here Here we are on the back side. We have again more gray, just like we do on the front side. We got passport in nice big letters there on the back. We have the uh, spare tire here located right on the back as opposed to under the RV. We'll head here in here in just a second. We have really um, nice steps here, um, the fold up, fold down steps. Um, if for those of you that don't know or haven't owned a travel trailer, basically um, in general, you usually have steps that come down from the travel trailer. Um, fold in these steps fold all the way up inside the travel trailer and really these steps are made to be um, a lot more firm and um, Less wobbly heading into the RV um, Than your standard your standard uh, Steps which um, I don't have I mean I can show you some standard steps on a standard travel trailer probably across the way here But where you can take a look in my other videos, but these are some very sturdy steps You can also if you want to add a railing here you can see here on the outside you have these little uh, points here where if you are looking for some extra stability when heading into the RV, you can add a railing there. But you do have a railing outside on the door here as well. The model is the 2210RB. So let's head on inside. We've got uh, just your booklet, the original booklet for the uh, Keystone actually just sitting here as soon as you walk in. We do have right to the left hand side um, closet space right here as soon as you walk in right here above and below on either side kind of stops right here and begins again right there. Right across from that we have your bathroom with your toilet and uh, you have that round shower with that uh, basically roll door here in the front. This is actually a pretty spacious shower, shower for a uh, travel trailer this size. Not that it's huge by any means, but sometimes you get a lot smaller shower than uh, than this um, in here than you do in this RV. You actually have as well, you can see right above there, um, a very nice skylight above as well. You have a fantastic fan um, back here as well for some airflow to that back bathroom. You have another uh, skylight right here above me as well. And let me take a couple steps back to get you a view 
of this interior here right across from the entry door again we have that there's the bathroom we've got the uh, Dometic refrigerator located right here we've got some really nice colors in this um, not too dark not too light um, a little bit of both in a combination I'd say you kind of have these floors as like a, a gray brown as well falling with the couch um, as well as kind of a uh, gray brown we've got some kind of gray brown uh, countertops with uh, white here and uh, brown cabinetry throughout the RV. Here is your kitchen here. We do have an oven in this. You have a microwave above that. You do actually have a stainless steel farm sink as opposed to having maybe two sinks or just one smaller sink. I think in something smaller like this, this would be a good way to go to give you a little bit more space and just having a little bit more openness rather than separating that off. Now you can actually fit normal size plates in here as opposed to not being able to fit them in here um, if you were to separate this section off. Um, again, I think something um, where you have something smaller might as well try to make it one as big as you can as opposed to having two different um, tubs there. Nice cabinets um, all the way through here. Nice storage underneath um, this kitchen space as well. Nice storage up top there. And um, a really nice feature I want to point out here is that actually that this RV in this model came with its own bar stools for the actual bar here. So you can actually sit here um, and have your own mini type mini bar here as well. Um, you really have space on either side to be eating and also somebody working here. You have some additional space here over next to the three burner. This is a three burner stovetop here um, to the right hand side. But really nice um, bar stools, which I you know, haven't seen very often in RVs unless somebody's actually put them in themselves. These actually came with the RV and match the proper color to the rest of the RV. We've got your recliners here over across from the kitchen space. We do have outlets on either side with USBs placed right under that. We have a window right above that and windows on either side. This is your slide out here so you can see there um, the outline of that slide out on this side. And you kind of have, um, here we are the bedroom or the uh, bed the bed um, and we have some really nice uh, I would say like a rustic uh, wood finish here on the back or like refinished wood feel although it's not real refinished wood um, it does look very nice and accents the RV nicely we actually have that as a top on top as well we've got some uh, your closets his and hers on either side of the RV again outlets below here and USB ports here as well. They did have to put these pieces in because underneath this section here, uh, we do have that uh, storage space on the outside, but that does leave you with a whole lot of space um, next to your bed. That could be a pro or a con because it is a little bit more difficult uh, getting into the bed. Not uncommon on a travel trailer though, but it does leave you with a whole lot of space next to your bed on either side to uh, set things. You have your emergency exit over here right next to the bed there we also have